and welcome to another exciting episode of Do I Truly Require Sustenance, or Am I Merely Filling the Empty Hours with Food? As always, I'm your host, Joseph McMahon, and on today's episode, we'll be going back to the sweets, specifically spicy ginger brown butter blondies. These are a personal favorite of mine, and I've been making them for years. I love them, my friends love them, their friends love them, you'll love them, your friends will love them, but only at a safe distance of six feet while wearing a mask. You just sort of toss them to them. And if they can't catch them, no worries, because the five second rule doesn't apply to these bad boys. These things are so delicious they can sit on the ground for like five minutes. You could dump them in some dirty water, let them soak up all those juices, and you would still bend down. You would still pick it up. You would still take a bite, and it would be disgusting and probably not healthy, but you'd do it because you wouldn't want to waste a morsel of these delicious treats. All right, folks. It's time to get reels. Real, real reels. Totally reels. As you can see, because I've taken off my glasses. I have made this recipe dozens of times, dozens and dozens of times, and not once, not ever, have they come out the consistency of a blondie. Now, for those of you who don't know what a blondie is, a blondie is simply the sibling of a brownie. A brownie has cocoa, and thus is brown. A blondie does not have cocoa, and thus is blonde. But consistency-wise, they're the same. And this is not that. Really, they're like spicy ginger brown butter thingies. And I don't want you to get to the end of this video and be like, you motherfucker. I am so disappointed in you. You told me I was getting a blondie and you've given me some like dense, chewy muffin shit. What is up with that? You have betrayed me. I am done with you. Unlike, unsubscribe, peace out. So, forewarning you, this should not stop you from making them though because these goddamn amazing treats are just that, right? Like, had the snake in the Garden of Eden had these bad boys like an apple, seriously? Like, he wouldn't have even finished describing them. He'd be like, hey, Eve, I've got these spicy gingerbread. What, 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 what do you, what do you, what do you do? Uh, what? Really? You're gonna eat them all? You're just gonna cram them in your mouth? Oh yeah, that's, that, yeah, really? Really? Wow, that's, that's classy, Eve. You, you're gonna leave some for Adam? Or me? No? No, you're just gonna cram, okay, that's great. That's great. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. So, literally, goddamn, folks. So, without further ado, and there's been a lot of ado here, let's get to the ingredients list. Starting off with our wet ingredients, we have one stick of butter, that's eight tablespoons, a third of a cup fresh minced ginger, an egg, a fourth of a cup molasses, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Moving on to our dry goods, we have one and a half teaspoons ground ginger, a half a teaspoon of cloves, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, a cup of all-purpose flour, and a cup of packed light brown sugar. And in terms of equipment, you will definitely want a mini muffin tin. So the first step is to brown the butter over medium heat. So this is the sort of consistency you're looking for. You've got the little browned butter solids there. It'll be a nice nutty aroma to it. You're gonna let that sit for two minutes cool down off the heat and then you will add in your ginger we'll just mix that in real nice we're gonna let this steep for about 10 minutes so we're gonna go ahead and add the other wet ingredients we have our molasses Should just get on in there come on nobody's got time to watch you Ugh. all right get in there go cooking should never be clean if you're clean by the end of cooking you've done it wrong people all right, so there's, get up there, that. Put that over there. We'll get our vanilla extract. We'll mix that all together. Get that nice and incorporated. All right, and we'll get our egg. Oh God, that didn't crack well. All right, there we go. We'll get that incorporated. And then we'll go ahead and, woo! Making a mess. And we will add this to our dry ingredients. All right, and there you go, people. There is your, whoop, batter, which we are now going to put into our mini muffin tin. And there you have it, folks. Almost 
24 spicy ginger brown butter blondie thingies. Ready to go in the oven? 350 degrees, 17 to 20 minutes. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these delicious little chewy dense muffin thingies. We're gonna let these cool for 30 minutes on a rack and then we are going to dig in. Now normally this is where we'd have a little musical interlude as I chow down on food, but I don't need to do that here because I've made these dozens of times and I know they're amazing and I know they're good. I'm still gonna eat one because, I mean, why not? Oh, oh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Focus, focus. It's not to me the consistency of a brownie, but it is still delicious, so. With that said, uh, I'm gonna eat, I don't know, two dozen of these and then go cry because I probably shouldn't have. Uh, until next time, uh, as always, this is Am I Hungry or Am I Bored? Ciao. Oh, God. You could toss them in the pond, but blah, 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 blah. We're done here.